Rushes go for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. What I figured I would do to, to photograph this, the, the launch, was to have several still cameras set up with different concepts. One would be uh, a time exposure, one would be handheld with a 500 millimeter lens, and one would be uh, a little wider angle, maybe shoot vertical. I think the biggest challenge was, out of all of this, you know, I've shot sports before and I've shot in low lighting and bad lighting, so that's, I'm pretty familiar and comfortable with that. But the idea of all these unknowns, you know, this was going, going to be a night launch of the shuttle, and uh, there are no do-overs. It's not like you say, okay, light it up, and then let me get my exposure. This is, it's going to go, and then what is your exposure? And what are your audio levels? Where, where should they be set? And that set of uh, questions, were, you know, and the answers were really hard to find. One of the, the more important things for me when I was uh, coming up with this plan to photograph uh, the shuttle was the human part of the space program. You know, we still have our, our problems, you know, in society. This is one of the best things we do. And that to me was really important to try and uh, experience that. When I first heard the sound of the engines, it, you know, I was shooting, but I also had to take a moment just to listen. It was like watching a sunrise, but one that moved, and that was really loud, and that flew, and people were sitting on top of that. So if you can imagine that experience, the thing, people are sitting on top of a fireball that's shooting up into the, you know, above the earth. The best part about the launch was afterwards. The vapor trails that uh, were still in the atmosphere and, and being blown by the winds, they turned into uh, clouds and they call them, uh, they're, they're, they're called night shining clouds, noctilucent, uh, I think it's from a Latin term. So several of us that were left over, you know, after the launch went up, after the shuttle lifted off, uh, we just stood around and watched these clouds you know, change. It was like a moving painting. And that was probably the most memorable experience of, uh, of that morning.